everyone. My name is Dr. Scott Melidio, and in this short video, I'll be discussing dimensional analysis in terms of volume. So what we have here is a 3D printed cube that was done here at Bucks, and what this cube represents is one liter. And you may be asking yourself, Dr. Melidio, how is this equal to one liter? And I will explain that to you now. So each little box there is one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. So one times one times one gives you one. And then the key to remember with dimensional analysis when you're doing multiplying with the numbers is to also, uh, uh, also multiply the units. So we would have one centimeter cubed. So this one little square there is one centimeter cubed. And we have one centimeter cubed cubes, we have a thousand of them. So the one thing to note is if you have one centimeter cubed, that is the same thing as if you have one milliliter. So then each little box here could technically hold one milliliter of liquid. So, and then since there are a thousand of them, we then can hold a thousand milliliters in this cube which then means we can then convert milliliters to liters, and there are a thousand milliliters in one liter. So then when you do that, you then get one liter. And then that is how this cube can hold one liter of volume. Next, I will show you how it looks written out mathematically to make sure that you have your units canceling out if you're trying to do the math at home. So the way it works is first we set up what we know, which is that each is one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. So when we multiply each of those tiny uh, cubes, uh, length times width times height together, we get one centimeter cubed. And then we have our conversion factor, which states one centimeter cubed equals one milliliter. So then with that conversion factor, we can then set up a multiplication where we have one centimeter cubed times one milliliter on top and then one centimeter cubed on the bottom. The reason why we want one milliliter on top and one centimeter cubed on the bottom is because we need to make sure that our units are canceling out. Centimeters cubed will cancel out with centimeters cubed and we'll be left with our units of milliliters. So and now since there are a thousand little cubes in this box, we, would then, we can then multiply that by a thousand. So then when you do that math, you can see here then we would have one thousand milliliters. And then if we then do the conversion factor where we have one liter on top, and a thousand milliliters on bottom, you can see then that again milliliters will cancel out with milliliters and then we're left with one liter. The other way that we can do this is if we look again back out at our cube is as I was saying that since each cube is one centimeter by one centimeter we can count the cubes and if you count them you have ten cubes across and you have ten cubes down and then we have 10 cubes going back. So then it's 10, 10, 10. You would also get a thousand centimeters cubed, which again, you can then convert because you have one mil equals one centimeter cubed, which would then give you a thousand mils, which you can then convert to liters. So then if we take that math, I, we can then go through and look at how that math would look as well. And we can do that right now. So again, starting with now the bigger cube is if we take 10 centimeters times 10 centimeters times 10 centimeters, we then get 1,000 centimeters cubed because remember, we're multiplying. We also have to take into account the units that we have when multiplying. And then we can use our conversion factor from before where we have one mil equals one centimeter cubed. 
So then again, as you can see, your centimeters cubed will cancel out with centimeters cubed. And then we're left with 1,000 mils. And then we can then convert that to liters using the same conversion factor as before, where we have one liter on top and 1,000 milliliters on bottom. So as you can see, the 1,000 milliliters are going to cancel out with the 1,000 milliliters. And then we're left with one liter. All right, so again, that concludes how this box here can be used to demonstrate conversion factor going from centimeters into a volume, such as mill, milliliters and liters. Thank you for watching.